Hi everyone, I'm Dave Mulvenn. I'm here with Mike Godwin. We're going to be previewing uh, B Division playoffs. Absolutely. It's time. It's that time of year. It is time. And with, you know, 17 teams in the playoffs for the B Division, anything can happen. That gives us one play in game. That play in game is between refuse to lose and fight mongooses. Winner of this game goes on to play ACC B. Doesn't even matter if you win. Uh, probably not, <laughs> but I think when your team name is refused to lose, you eventually you, you have to get one win, or else where do you go from there? I mean, you can't go anywhere but up after that. But we'll Both see. these teams, not a win combined. I would eight. I would sixteen combined. Oh. So. So, but you, that. if you're in this game, I mean, clearly you know if you win this game, you're not going to beat ACC. Right? Yeah, right. So you just pack it up? Or do you just battle for that one win? I don't think you got to battle. Pride, right? Yeah, pride. You don't want to finish dead last in the league. So who you take? You refuse to lose or fight mongooses? Now, let's, let's clarify. The winner of this game plays, they get an hour break, and then they will play. This game is at 3.30 at half. Yes. Then there's an hour break, and they play ACCB at 5.30. All on the same night. Same night. They're gonna same be tired. Same but they're all they're young. They're young. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Man, this is a tough pick. I'm gonna go refuse to lose. Now I like that because Darrell Harris is on refuse to lose, and he played for ACC for part of last season. Oh no, I didn't even realize so, that. So storylines. Storylines are playoffs. I know. Plenty of storyline. I like ESPN. You know what? You're going to refuse to lose. I'm going fighting mongooses. The mongooses are taking this one, Mike. Why do you even like, disagree with this? They're both 0 and 8. True. I mean, so, I can still argue that you're wrong. I mean, the only thing we know is that these teams did not play each other because they're 0 and 8. <laughs> and another thing we know that one of them will end with at least one win. On yes. Season. What if they just tie zero zero and just keeps going over time? <laughs> and you guys are just like let just let ACC move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, nothing enough to tie. <laughs> zero, no game zero zero. <laughs> All right, so we already said the winner of this plays ACC B. Huh? Is there any question who is going to win that? No. ACC B by Mercy. Mercy. Yeah. Afraid you you have a point. So, thank you, sir. Next up, we have Diamond State Warriors versus Hog Mob. This is going to be a tough game. Yes, it is. Oh, Hog Mob thought they got lucky by getting the five seed, but we made a mistake in the standings. We took care of that. Now, yeah, we took care of it. Now they got a tough first round matchup. So I'm going Hog Mob by two. Now, Diamond State Warriors, they were... A Division MVP, Shaquille Blake. Shaquille Blake. Uh, Congratulations. Diamond State Warriors, they started the season hot. I think they started like 4-1 and one or something like that, or 3-1, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. somewhere along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of, they hit a, hit a little dry spell, a little lost a few games. That's all. And, and then, you know, they finished up last week with a win. Now, Hog Mob, I'm worried about Hog Mob. I mean, you saw Dave Sadowski on there trying to trying to take all the pressure off his team by taking credit for the last loss. I don't buy that at all. Dave Sadowski wanted Monstars that last game of the season, and they got. And him. did he get them? I bet he. And what did he do with it? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. And you know, as far as I'm concerned, you win as a team, you lose as a team. So by Dave Sadowski going on there and just trying to say it's all his fault, I don't buy it for a second. I'm worried about Hog Mob right now. I'm really worried about them. They have the Twin Towers, but we know they can't hit free throws. Right. So, if you're Diamond State Warriors, you put them on the line. You're not here to give out advice. You're here to make I'm just pick. trying to, I'm just trying to say how you win Diamond this game. State Warriors has a game plan they will follow. They won't listen to you. You're clearly a Hog Mob fan. <laughs> I'm a Diamond State Warriors fan. What did I say, Hog Mob by two? I don't even remember all right. <laughs> I'm going Diamond State Warriors in this one. Overtime, thriller. 
Two games in already, calling overtime throwers. Which is cool, every single one. We'll get out of here at 11.30 or something like that. <laughs> no game vision every time. <laughs> Next up, we have Skills That Kills versus Catalina Wine Mixer. Skills That Kills, early on the season, we were, you know, we were like, you know, maybe they don't belong in the B division. Maybe we need to create a C division for them. But they ended the season four and four. Very And they shut you team. up, didn't they? No, I was always a fan of Skills and Kills. I like their jerseys. I'm a huge fan. Well, who are you going with then? I'm going with Skills and Kills. Me too. Good call. I just, I'm just, I'm not They're a believer in Catalina. Like, I'm not a believer in Catalina. Play. I saw their game against the Fireballers, which Fireballers pretty much handed them the game. Catalina has trouble scoring. Yeah, if skills to kills. They score. don't get mad that we say that, but they do. Honestly, all seriousness. I I like skills to kills. I like how they're playing basketball right yeah. now. They've come together as a team throughout the season. So I'm going skills to kills by seven points. They're going to win forty-seven to forty. I'm going skills to kills by three points. Dan, how about you? He went skills that kills me. <laughs> he just held up a sign. He's <laughs> over there. <laughs> Next up, we have J Squad versus Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers has been scouting J Squad for a while now. Yeah. That's the defending champ you're talking about. Oh, I know. And they're angry. Yes. They just got beat pretty badly by Team Doc. I'm going J Squad. Yeah. By 12. I think it's going to be a good game. I actually I like this matchup for Pink Panthers because there's a few teams that I don't think Pink, Pink Panthers match up well with, but I feel like they match up well with J Squad. But in the end, I think J Squad plays uh, too too much as a team for Pink Panthers. Okay. Yeah. So they play great team basketball. I agree with that. But so I'm going to go J Squad. Uh, I'm going to go J Squad by. Uh, Nine. Basically, copy my pick, but uh, you're the one that keeps looking on my iPad. See all the notes. Yeah, that I see have. the map. I have the notes written down by the games. Care yeah, about your notes? Every week, as I'm editing these videos, I'm taking notes. <laughs> Next. Next up, we have Delaware versus Heat Check. Now, I saw on the Facebook page that as soon as Jesse saw who they were playing, he just wrote sick. I think he meant like sick to his stomach. Right? <laughs> oh man. Or he's saying he's feeling sick, he won't be able to make it to the game. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good. That's, that was the feeling I got. Yeah, from I, it. I wouldn't. I mean, usually when I read text on something, I know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah. Like, so he's either sick to getting sick to his stomach and will miss the game, or he's just. Or he saw it just throw up. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we got <laughs> there. We got Delaware. So, yeah, as far as that goes, I'm going Delaware by 20. Yeah, I was, I was going to get Delaware by, by 15. Yeah. Although, you know, uh, the Magruder brothers, uh, Phil Jackson, they have a good team and they are playing better basketball together, but Delaware's sure not a team. you've ever seen Delaware play. No, I'm just saying Delaware's not a team you want to see in the first round or really ever. Well, if you don't want to see them in the first round, when so don't get a 15 seed. <laughs> True. Sure, I can't argue with you there. <laughs> Next up, we have Fireballers versus Elite. This is easy. Elite. Oh, the Fireballers. Remember, I don't speak with them. I'm going back. It's been a long. It's been so long. I'm, I'm going back to not speaking about them. Now, Fireballers, if they can limit turnovers in this one. And J.P. Hurley's got to be on his game. He's got to be hitting so you're shots. you're saying he's got to score like 50 for them? No, 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 not at all. I'm just saying um, he's got to be on his game because when he starts hitting his threes, his long-range threes, it opens up everything for the rest of the team. It pulls the Leeds defense out. Oh, really? Yeah, that's exactly what yeah, it does. I feel like you haven't watched an Elite game or a, uh, a Fire Bars game all season. I haven't, honestly. Except the one we played, we beat by 50. Yeah, but they didn't have they didn't have the big guy. They didn't have Raheem. Uh, that he, he's not worth fifty points. He's worth maybe uh, fourteen, so he would have won by thirty six. Well I'm not I'm not denying that. I mean that's the fact that you're talking about. This is elite. 
it's just it's just I'm not denying that. I'm just saying we're not talking about the faculty right now. We're talking about elite. I'm talking about elite. I'm you saying were talking we're about us winning by 36 points. Yeah. We're not talking about elite being the top team in this B division. Listen. How about that? If I know Rudy Enriquez like I think I do, he's got the fireballs ready. He's probably emailing him every day. Um, he's probably got him on a strict sleeping plan where they have to be at least eight or nine hours. I saw him, I talked to him the other day, he said he was uh, he was having a meeting with Chip Kelly to see how he gets the Eagles ready. He's going to do the same thing with the fireball. Speaking of sleeping plans, you put me to sleep. <laughs> Who are you taking this one and by how many? Elite, I said, by yeah. 10. I'm going fireballers. I don't care. Believe in the fireballers, Mike. <laughs> I no, I haven't and I never will. All right. I'm going fireballers by three. With Jaleel hitting the three at the buzzer. What do you think about that? And it's going to be the only three he takes all game. Got that, Jaleel? The only one you take all game. You'll know when it's your turn. Next up. You need 12 hours of sleep after that. Don't worry, this next one's going to be quick. Next up, free agent squad versus the faculty. Oh, Nelly. I, I, can't, I can't wait for this. Now I'm awake. And you know, like the, the problem is, I'm torn in this game because I have two two players that play on my wiffle ball team. Wiffle ain't easy. They're on free agents. And you also you're playing against me in wiffle ball, and I'm on your team. Yeah, and basketball. then Paul, like pretty much the whole wiffle ball league is <laughs> in this game right here. Pretty much. And Kyle will probably be doing stats on the side. Yeah. So pretty much the whole wiffle ball league will be part of this game. Yeah. Uh, but enough about wiffle ball. Yeah, no. This is playoff time. Free agent squad has gotten a lot better since week one. Not as good as the back. We, we might even get some playing time. Oh, I'm getting playing time. I'm expecting to start. I'm expect There's a second hand. There's two things I'm expecting. Me to get some playing time and Turk to show up in the second hand. Yeah, there's no way Turks get there before <laughs> halftime. No way. He's gonna drive by an hour to get there at <laughs> halftime, and then we're gonna be up by like 15, and he's just gonna turn yeah. to back in. Exactly. So, are you giving the free agent squad a chance? No. Not I'm, going, I'm going mercy rule. Jeez, I wasn't gonna go that far. I was gonna say faculty by 10. That's fine. I'm gonna say faculty it's by playoffs. 10. Playoffs. Free agent squad, they have. They have people like Jeff Walters on the sideline, throwing the towel, getting the team pumped up. That's exactly where I wanted to. Dan Salfus, Adam Blakely. Mr. Fadeaway Jumper himself. I guarantee you one thing. Adam Blakely on this team, he's going to go 0 for 2. Because as soon as he comes in the game, I'm guarding him. <laughs> and I guarantee <laughs> Dan Salfus, who's at least four fadeaway jumpers. I'll take I'll take the over from I'll out, take, I'll take from the outside eighteen feet. <laughs> I'll take the over. I'm taking the over no matter what on that one. Oh, Next up we have Team Doc versus Monsters. Team Doc is going to be Docless this weekend. That's all right. So we're just going to call it Team. I want Team Doc to win because I want them in the second round. I'm sure they want us too. Yeah, they they want to win match. Yeah. And after this round, the whole B division will have a week off. Yeah. To rest, because a lot of the B division players are older. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That We actually called that. We've been playing a lot of minutes. Dan Schultz actually uh, talked to me at the end of last season. He said he'd like, he'd like it to be like that. He'd like to call it the, the team doc. The team doc? Because they need a week or yeah. time right. for play. I can, see, I can do that. I can agree. Now, Monstars is coming off a huge win versus Hawkman. Yeah, talk about momentum going in. Danny used to play for Hawk Mob last season. Comes back, beats Hawk Mob. When we we were writing, we were writing Monstars off. They were. I think I've been writing them off for about five weeks, and then they go and have a huge win. So it shows, it shows Monstars can play against big teams and beat them. And that's when Doc has two of the biggest, two of the bigger guys in the league. But they are good. Gavin Bethel. Yeah, I'm saying Doc's team, Doc's team are too good. You think they're too good? So they're gonna win by 16. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking Team Doc, and I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. They win this game by uh, 12. Great pick. 
Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this week for our B Division previews for playoffs. Got some great games. I, you know, I might just stick around. I'm going to try to just drive back and forth and just watch all the games. Yeah. Or on, on Monday after they're all videoed, I'll just watch them all again. <laughs> we'll kind of like the NBA TV, the, the playoff playback or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, might, um, I might split screen and watch both games, two games at one time. I'm sure we get four. Oh, yeah, I like it. Great idea. Maybe we'll just have the video next week. We'll just have the videos playing behind us as we're as we're talking. I like that. We'll see. We'll see what we go with it. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Mike, anything for you? Nothing. All right, we'll see everyone on Sunday.